Hello all, um, the practitioner here again. I've been doing enough on critical thinking, I think, for a while, and about time I started on a fresh magic trick. So here's what I got here. I got a standard pair of Smith & Wesson handcuffs. Um, these are out of date now. The police, uh, there have been too many problems with them, and so, uh, you know, for injuring the people, um, particularly magicians, criminals, the like. So anyway, um, these particular pair of handcuffs I'm going to be wearing. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting on a solid kitchen chair here. What I'm going to do is, if you can see carefully, I've got three bars on the back here. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to um, take the, um, I'm actually going to take my handcuffs. I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm going to take the key, uh, just this way, and I'm going to leave the key right out in front. Uh, let me see where does the key, 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 key. Who's got the key? And do I have enough time for this? Ah, uh, yes, good. I have roughly nine minutes to get out. Okay, this is the key to the handcuffs. I'm going to be putting it right here on front of the computer, okay? No way in heck I can touch this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lock myself in these handcuffs and the thumb cuffs. I'm going to lock myself through this chair here, and I'm going to try in nine minutes, or actually less than that, to escape. So this is going to be the tricky bit, because I've always done this handcuff escape, but I've never, ever done it through a chair. So um, I actually pulled the handcuff, the thumb cuffs before I do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick myself inside the handcuffs. I'll give you a full view uh, to let you know that they're actually there. I'm actually going to double lock these two. Uh, there we go. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, there. Okay, I'm going to double lock these guys just to make sure that they're... I can't pick my way out of them. And you can see this. Uh, just trying to find the... Uh, double lock number one. And double lock number two. I should mention that the Smith and, Ma the Smith and Wesson model handcuff was designed with a secondary lock to prevent easy access for picking. It was uh, one of the easiest tactics in the book. All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right there. Then I'm going to stick myself through the chair. And there we go. Just give me two seconds. OK, we're in, in three. Two, one, go. Ah, uh, 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 bloody heck. Uh, uh, this is always tougher than it looks. Again, remember, I double locked the handcuffs, and I'm wearing thumb cuffs to prevent myself from being able to get out of this particular spot I'm in. Luckily for me, though, I always have a backup plan in case something like this goes wrong. Ah, there we go. One set down. Now I just gotta pull my handcuff. Like I originally locked the thumb cuffs through the chair, and that's why I was pulling. I locked my thumb cuffs through the chair, so now they're off. Now I just gotta get out of the handcuffs, which is always gonna be a bit of a trick. Ah, I think I've got it. Ah, almost. And there we go. As you can see, the handcuffs are off, as were the thumb cuffs, which I chucked over here. So like I said, I'm completely out of these. And remember, the key was right on the computer the entire time. How did I do it? Think about it and then try to get back to me.